Kota Shivaram Karanth, the 10th of October 1902 to the 9th of December 1997, was an Indian polymath who was a novelist in Kannada language, playwright, and conservationist. Ramachandra Guha called him the Rabindranath Tagore of modern India, who has been one of the finest novelists activists since independence. He was the third writer to be decorated with the Jnanpith Award for Kannada, the highest literary honor conferred in India. His son Ullas is a conservationist. <laughs> Early life Shivram Karanth was born on 10 October 1902, in Kota near Udupi in the Udupi district of Karnataka to a Kannada-speaking family. The fifth child of his parents Shesha Karantha and Lakshmama, he completed his primary education in Kundapura and Mangalore. Shivram Karanth was influenced by Gandhi's principles and took part in Indian independence movement when he was in college. His participation in the non-cooperation movement did not allow him to complete his college education which he quit in February 1922. He canvassed for Khadi and Swadeshi in Karnataka led by Indian National Congress leader Karnad Sadashiva Rao, for five years till 1927. By that time Karanth had already started writing fiction novels and plays. Career Karanth began writing in 1924 and soon published his first book, Rashtrajitha Sudhakara, a collection of poems. His first novel was Vichitrakota. Subsequent works like Nirbhagya Janma, Unfortunate Birth, and Sulia Samsara, Family of a Prostitute, mirrored the pathetic conditions of the poor. His magnum opus Devaduturu, a satire on contemporary India, was published in 1928. Karanth was an intellectual and environmentalist who made notable contribution to the art and culture of Karnataka. He is considered one of the most influential novelists in the Kannada language. His novels Marali Manaj, Betada Jiva, Alita Mili, Mukajiya Kanasugalu, My Managala Suliali, Aid Oru Aid Mara, Shanishwarana Nuralinali, Kadiara Kusu, Svapnita Hole, Sarsamana Samadhi, and Chomana Duti are widely read and have received critical acclaim. He wrote two books on Karnataka's ancient stage dance drama Yakshagana 1957 and 1975. He was involved in experiments in the technique of printing for some years in the 1930s and 1940s and printed his own novels, but incurred financial losses. He was also a painter and was deeply concerned with the issue of nuclear energy and its impact on the environment. At the age of 90, he wrote a book on birds published during 2002 by Manahara Granthamala, Darwad. He wrote, apart from his 47 novels, 31 plays, 4 short story collections, 6 books of essays and sketches, 13 books on art, 2 volumes of poems, 9 encyclopedias, and over 100 articles on various issues. <laughs> Personal life Karanth married Leela Alva, a student in the school that Karanth would teach dance and direct plays in. The latter belonged to the Bunt community and was the daughter of a businessman, K. D. Alva. They married on 6 May 1936. The couple subsequently attracted ridicule from people in the region over their inter-caste marriage. Karanth belonged to an Orthodox Brahmin community. Leela, who had her early education in Marathi language, relearned Kannada after marriage and translated the Marathi novel Pan Lakshat Khan Ghetto into Kannada. As a dancer, she participated in Karanth's operas. The Karanths had four children together, sons, Harsha and Ullas, a conservationist, and daughters, Malavika and Kashama. His mother's influence on Karanth was described by Ullas as, It was our mother who shaped Karanth's life. She was the backbone of all his endeavors. She was also quite well read, and she dedicated all of her talents to her husband. She took care of all household responsibilities. The family lived in the Puttur town of Dakshina Kannada, a district in the South Karnataka region, before moving to Salagrama, a town two miles .2 kilometers from Karanth's birthplace Kota, in 1974. A few years prior to this, their eldest son Harsha died, leaving Leela suffer from depression and hallucinations. She died in September 1986. 
It was also the year that Caranth's final novel was published. Caranth was admitted to Kasturba Medical College in Manipal on 2 December 1997 to be treated for viral fever. He suffered from a cardiac respiratory arrest two days later and slipped into a coma. On 8 December, his kidneys began to fail and subsequently developed severe acidosis and septicemia, following which he was put on dialysis. Efforts to revive him failed and he died at 11.35 a.m. East the following day, aged 95. The government of Karnataka declared a two-day mourning in the state as a mark of respect. <laughs> <laughs> Literary and national honours Jainanapith Award 1978 Sahitya Akademi Fellowship 1985 Sangeet Natak Akademi Fellowship 1973 Padma Bhushan he returned his Padma Bhushan honor in protest against the emergency imposed in India Sahitya Academy Award 1959 Karnataka State Sahitya Akademi Award Sangeet Natak Award Pampa Award Swedish Academy Award Tulsi Salmon 1990 Databai Noroji Award 1990. Honorary Doctorate from Mysore University, Meerut University, Karnatak University and others. <laughs> <laughs> Film Awards National Film Award posthumously. National Film Award, Special Jury Award, Special Mention Writer, Betada Jiva, K. Shivaram Karanth 2011 Writings Kannada and Tulu cinema Chomana Dudi Chigarita Kanasu Malia Makalu from Kadiara Kusu novel Betada Jiva 8 of September Tulu topic see also Kannada Kannada literature Yakshagana